Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Endorphin 3D animations into iClones 8 just to make it become any of the RL motions and apply in any of your iClone 3D avatar. So start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step how to import the Endorphin into iClone 8. Alright, first you need to have the Icon 3D Exchange 7. It is just because of if you are using the CC4, if you don't have the Icon 3D Exchange 7, by using the CC4, I had tried a few times, it has certain bugs to convert the Endorphin 3D animations and rigs in, into RL motion. You can see there are some bugs. So, I'm using the Icon 3D Exchange 7. You still can get the Icon 3D Exchange 7s. You can just go to my video descriptions. I already put the link at the bottom. It is going to lead, lead you to the official site of Realusions to get the Icon 3D Exchange 7s. You still have the chance to get this software. Alright, so I'm going to stand by the Icon 8 and just start a fresh new 3D project and also stand by the Icon 3D Exchange 7s. I'm going to show you all the step by step from Endorphin. First step is to export. You can see here there are two avatars, the first avatar and second avatar. So first step is to export. Click File, Export All. And as demo, I will export it on my desktop. Save as the type, choose FBX 6.0 File name, I'm going to put A Save Click OK It is going to ask you, are you Do you want to use a, a single file for export? Here, just choose No It is very important Now you have two 3D avatar You, you need to separate it Now you will have A1 and A2, you can see so the next step, just just go to the 3D exchange from here. First, we import the A1. Make sure you import the animation. Click OK. And then now you can see it is at a higher level just because of the original position is higher. You need to make sure it is at the bottom before, before you convert it. So, you scroll up, you must make sure align to ground. Just click this, align to ground. Now it is already at the center, at the ground. So now I click align to center, align to ground. Now it already at here. Then scroll down until you can see convert to non standard. At here, just make sure it is T pose first. So now I'm going to just double click this. Right. Then I will just press E. Then scroll up. Just to rotate it up. Make sure it is T pose. Alright. Then another hand also make it become Post. And then look at the as as this. You must make sure this 3D avatar is faced to that directions, the negative Y directions. Do not face the green green point. You have to make sure you face to here. Alright. So now seem everything look normal. It's okay. Then we can start map the skeleton. Just map it. For all of these parts, you have to expand here. One, two, then this is the neck. The neck, you have to expand it here, just one of it. Then, now is 
the leg all right now tick active and convert click ok now this 3D avatar, it already become a non-standard. Then, you can check the animations, the motion. Just try to have a look. Now it is here, this is the motion to jump down. It is exactly same as the endorphin. Just jump down from here. Alright, so this is the first motion. So now we export, click here to export, All right, make sure this one, export the animations you have to choose, then export the RL motions, I will just choose other and just export the RL motions, browse your desktop to export it on your desktop, click OK. Now you, you can see you already get an RL motion file, the A1 endorphin. And now we are going to import the A2. Just drag and drop, click OK. Now for this one, you can see this is the origin. And this 3D avatar is at these locations. What you need to do is just make sure it is go to here. So what you can do is scroll up, align to center, align to ground. And now you can see the face is the wrong direction. So you have to just press E to just rotate it back. All right. Then press G to look look from the above now the direction is okay already then just click reset transform it is going to just reset everything then scroll down until you can see convert to non-standard we are going to make make this as t post same as just now Make sure it is a perfect T-Pose. This one, do it properly as well. Press F, you can look, look from the front. Alright, now this is the T-Pose. Then we start to map it, map the bone. Map the neck. Map the root, the pelvis. Map the torso. Then map the legs. Alright, now active and convert, click OK. For this time, we check the motion. Alright, for this time, everything no problem, it is going to start from here. That is cool. Then, we export the RL motion, click File, Export. Export the animations on the desktop, click OK. 
Now we can see A1 motion and A2 motions. We are going to test it in iClone 8 here. So first, we go to the actor to find a character from the actor core. Alright, first I'm going to choose a female. We test the first animations, the A1 endorphin RL motions. Drag and drop. It apply, now you can see it is at higher position once you play, it is going to jump down. Alright. So now we need to have another 3D avatar. I will choose from here as demo. So I will choose Kevin. Then I will apply another motion that is A2 endorphin. Drag and drop apply on him. Then try to play. Now we need to adjust Kelvin's position. It is about somewhere here. Just drag it to here. Then play again. Alright. Just in front a little bit. Play. Then finally, we already successfully simulate everything in endorphin. All of the endorphin motions we already successfully converted to become to iClaw motion file, the RL motion format. And finally, it is applicable in mm -hmm. iClone 8. Now, maybe you need something for this, this girl to stand. So I will just choose from the props. The 3D block. So I choose this. Just leave it up like this. And observe. Try to play. Now, just have a look. It is exactly... Exactly same as the endorphin. Now I try to play. View from different angle. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to import any of the endorphin created 3D animations into Icron 8 3D animation software to make it become the RL motions, what we call the Icron motion file, which you can apply the motions, the animations to any Icron avatar or cc4 avatar and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials or sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3d modeling 3d animations and 3d game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new videos tutorials or sharings you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!